Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Whisper, and today what I have for you is another people you meet playing CSGO video, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize just in case in the future uh, I, you know, upload a little bit less just because school is completely shafting me right now when it comes to work. My workload's pretty freaking huge the past couple days. I've had maybe, you know, two hours to relax uh, after homework and, you know, showering and getting all my chores done and stuff like that, so it's kind of been hell for me. But uh, I'm going to try and keep my uploads to twice a week. Hopefully, I'll be able to keep that. Uh, can't promise that. But uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. So, recently when I've been doing these uh, people you meet playing CSGO videos, I've been talking about people with specific interests. And this time, I'm going to talk about a specific type of player you meet. Not somebody who has a particular interest like people who are interested in furries or people who are interested, you know, anime or, you know, Japanese culture. I'm going to talk about a person who has a particular way of thinking when they play CSGO. And today that person is going to be the guy who has no fucking common sense. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So I don't know if this is just my experience with CSGO or if, you know, it's universally happens, but generally, whenever you get fucked in CSGO by some things that, you know, you feel like shouldn't happen, it happens at the worst possible time. For example, there was one time where I got Nova 1, like I was promoted to Nova 1, and then I lost three games in a row, and I got demoted back to Silver Elite Master, even though I was top fragging each of the games. So, I felt like, you know, obviously I could carry harder, but at the same time, I couldn't even have competent teammates to help make sure that I didn't derank three games in a row. And you might be asking yourself, Whisper, how does this apply to the person who plays CSGO who lacks complete common sense? It's because 9 times out of 10 when I lose a game and I'm like generally top fragging or my team is performing really well, this is the guy, this is the reason that we are losing the game is because of this fucking guy the guy who completely lacks common sense i don't give a shit if he's top fragging or if he's bottom fragging or where whatever fragging it doesn't matter it's that this guy completely fucking lacks game sense and common sense in all regards these are the type of people who play mirage and don't know any of the smokes not even one and so they're literally fucking useless whenever you're trying to do a normal execute or the type of person who's in a 1v1 situation and plants the bomb for apps and listens to the guy the ct walk on site and fucking defuse the bomb and not bother to check it you know this guy i'm like 90 percent certain actually no i'm no for a fucking fact every person who is watching this video right now has met this guy i am certain of that I think my biggest problem with playing with this guy is that he's so fucking infuriating to play with. Like, I've never met a player that I've gotten more toxic at than this guy, simply because he just refuses to listen to you. He flat out will not listen to what you say, and he will do whatever he wants, whether it lacks common sense or whether it lacks game sense or anything for that matter. He just does it to do it and doesn't think about it at all. Another thing I want to mention is regardless of if this person is nice or not, they are still equally frustrating to play with. So even if they're nice, they're still just as frustrating to play with as if they were toxic. Just because the way they play the game, and you know, they don't listen to anything that other players have to say, you know, they don't take any advice, is still frustrating as all fuck. So, most of the time I can ignore people who are toxic, or, you know, being dicks, I could either, you know, mute them if they're on the enemy team, or just ignore their toxicity if they're on my team, and just try and communicate. But this person, I, I can't mute him, and regardless of if he's nice or not, I'm going to get fucking angry at him just because of how he plays the game. I run into this guy way more than I fucking should. I should not have to deal with this guy every three to four games like I generally do. I'm not saying that I lose all the games that I play with this guy, but generally, it's a lot more of an up in the air game than it should be if I had a consistent teammate who, you know, could analyze the game and think about the game state and play based off of the game state instead of this fucking idiot. And that's the biggest problem with this guy, is that I run into him way too often, but the thing is, is that I can deal with incompetent teammates like that. I play fucking League of Legends, and I've played in Bronze before. I'm in Bronze 2 right now, slowly carrying my way out. I know how to deal with incompetent teammates. However, what I don't know how to deal with is imbeciles who literally just won't take any other person's advice, 
and who will just completely throw away rounds for your team just because they're so incompetent. Like, I've dealt with these people, but the thing is that for the most part, these people want to win, so they will take advice and try and, you know, improve their play based off of the advice that they get from their teammates. I'm not saying all bronze players in League do this, but some of them do. But I run into this guy in CS who doesn't take our advice, who throws away rounds and loses us games way too often. And, like, I can't deal with him. I don't know how to deal with him. Like, I just get very frustrated playing with this guy. And I'm sure most of the people who are watching this video get very frustrated with this guy. Like I said, all of you have met this person. I'm 100% certain. So to recap, this is the guy who lacks all game sense, who has no common sense, who tries to do stupid shit like trying to ninja defuse when he could kill the planter of the bomb while he's planting. And who frequently throws rounds and even games for your teammates. That's about all I have to say on this guy. He's very infuriating to play with and I'm sure that all of you have met him. But hope you guys enjoy this video. My name is Whisper. And if you guys have any, you know, suggestions for the next video that I make in this series, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make a video on that. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.